one of the things we study here at the college is, is, is uh, failure analysis. Different ways to determine how stuff is going to fail. And if it does fail, we analyze it to see why it failed and how it failed. So one of the tools we use, and in the modern day here in the mine site, is known as uh, RCM, or Reliability Centered Maintenance crews here in this area here. But this is a, a, a career you can actually go into, um, and it's usually a very high paying career. But this is feral analysis, and this is actually part of the vibration analysis. And basically, I'm going to use a bearing as an example. If you wait and for a bearing to fail, and you can hear it, you can hear a squealing noise or a high-pitched whistling noise, it means that the bearing has failed, and it's clear down here on the timeline. And if it fails when the plant is operating, you can shut that plant down, and it will cost money to shut the plant down unplanned, and also it's unscheduled. Um, you may not have the right parts for it, and so it causes a lot of issues when your bearing fails um, when you don't know about it. And so, but if you can predict a bearing to fail, and if you can find out that it's starting to fail way up here on the timeline, and then you place it here on the timeline before it fails, then you can schedule it, you can plan it, you can have the right parts here, and then you can do it on a, time, on a day when the plant's gonna be down anyway, on a scheduled down day. And so by predicting this and trying to find it failing way up here and then scheduling it and changing it before it fails completely is what our goal is. And one of the ways they do that is they use vibration analysis. And this is just a little this is a very basic machine, and you see people go around. Um, it's actually an electrical stethoscope, kind of similar to what the doctors use, but it, but it picks up vibrations. And so, and then it, and it gives the vibration a number value on this machine. Um, but when they, when they take that machine and they download it to the computer, it looks like this is a big jumble of waves. And the computer can separate these waves out into a single wave. And it has a frequency. And they have learned that over time, collecting this data, that there's some failures will cause distinct frequencies. For example, if you over grease a bearing, they've named it yowling, uh, like a cat yells, yowling. Um, and so what happens is if you over grease the bearing, the rollers in the bearings are running over the grease, causing it to bounce, and it causes a distinct frequency. And when that shows up, they know the bearings have uh, been over greased. It doesn't matter how big the bearing is, what type of bearing it is, it will put off the distinct frequency every time that it's over greased. But then they can take this frequency and they can separate it out. So this is three waves and they take it and they flip it 90 degrees to itself. So if you look at my thumb, and if I turn it this way, they're flipping it 90 degrees. When you flip this wave 90 degrees to itself, it looks like this. And then I can tell the amplitude. So like, if somebody's over greasing the bearing, it may be at this point, and if they continue to over grease it and put more grease in it, this wave would get bigger. And so this is three waves. And let's say this one right here is a crack cage frequency, a crack cage or a crack roller bearing. And it's really low here, so it means that this barely started. And as it gets worse, this will get bigger. And it will come up here. And so they can pick the crack cage here and they can monitor it. And then when it gets to a certain point, they have to change it out here instead of causing a down day. Down, uh, down day. And so that's kind of a little very simple overview of vibration analysis, but this machine here, it's a balance machine, we can actually demonstrate that. And I'll just take this little weight off real quick. And I'll turn this machine on, and I'll set it to milliseconds. And so basically it's converting the vibration into a number value. And I'll turn it on and I'll turn it up to 1,700 RPMs. 
And if you look at it, it's at point 0.1. No, it's actually dropped a little. It's point 0.9. And so we look up this right here, and point 0.7, point 0.1, 10 right here. And so if you look at it, it's in the light green, and it's satisfactory. So the reason why it's that high and not running lower into the good range is that this has been sitting in storage. And if you look right here, there's a little tiny dust right here, you see? That has actually got inside the bearings here because they're open bearings. And that's what's causing that to run at that, ele at that elevated number. If I took it and cleaned all the bearings off with air and then re-lubricated, it will drop way down to one. Um, so I'm gonna shut this off real quick. And I'm gonna take this little tiny screw, and it's this tiny quarter inch, and it's not very heavy. You can barely feel the weight of it. But I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna put it right here on this machine. Turn it back on and we'll watch what happens. And if you listen to it, it actually sounds different. It sounds rougher. I'll take it back up to 1700 RPMs. And if you look, it's jumped clear up to seven, which is way down here in the bad part. It's clear down here in the bad. This by adding that little tiny bolt. And then this is another one. If I put this one on it, it would jump way down almost off the scale and this would actually start moving on the table just by adding this little tiny, another little bolt. But that's kind of a little vibration analysis. Um, how you can use frequencies and then balancing and you can tell if something's going wrong with a piece of equipment. And there's a whole, like I said, there's a whole career of this. And um, if you get, hired on the mines and you go into RCM is one of the fields you can go into um, through the Millwright program and um, they'll send you to school and you become certified in this and then, then people go all over the United States doing this for other companies and it's a very um, lucrative field.